Hello my friend, welcome to the Vectorize, my name is Jonathan, I'm here to teach you how you can remove a background using Affinity Designer and how you can make this image as PNG with a transparent background, okay? So make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to learn much more. Let's get started. Okay, the first step that I'm gonna teach you, it's about how you can check if your image is a PNG. How are you to do that? First of all, you need to open the layers panel. If you cannot see the layers panel, you need to check right here on the view, studio, and enable the layers panel. After that, you need to check right here in this button, in this icon here, burger icon, you can click on checkboard background. Once you do this, pay attention, you're gonna enable the transparent layers on the thumbnails, all right? And also, if you cannot see, like I cannot see very well, I can go and make this in large thumbnails. Once you do that, you can see in a bigger size these thumbnails on the layers panels. Now it's time to show you how you can remove the image. Okay, first of all, I want to add a background to this project. Once you do that, you can be able to see if the background is in transparent mode, all right? I will place this red area here, right here below of this image. I got here now, here below. And now I'm gonna switch to the pixel persona mode. Make sure to convert your image as rasterize, because once you do that, you can be able to use the fluid select, select tool. Once you click here, you can just click in the white area, this one. But make sure that you're gonna see a lot of dots. This one, this is the selection error. After that, you can check that it's not very cool the way that it is automatic. If I delete in the way that it is, we're gonna get this result. And you can see that it is missing some part of this dog. And you need to fix this in a better array, all right? After that, I'm gonna undo just to show how you can fix this. You can use this tool that's called Selection Brush Tool. Select this one, you can uh, hit here on the mode by add or subtract. Or if you want, you can just press out and then by holding Ctrl and Command or out, you can resize the brush. Or you can use this by scrolling the width. You can use your mouse to scroll here the width. In order to do that, you can resize your brush automatically by doing this. I will press out and then remove this carefully, right? Select here this tool again, and then you can just snap. Make sure to snap to the edges, because you're gonna get a better result. Now I'm going to hit delete, and then I'm gonna have this result here. And you'll be noticing here that nothing is so well perfect when you use a fin designer, but you can try to make this a bit better by doing this technique that I'm gonna show you right now. For example, let me make this in this color, in gray. I'm gonna hit here Control, hold Control, and then select this pixel layer of this dog. If you click here, you're gonna select this area that it is in transparent mode right now, okay? And then if you select the Fluid tool, you can have the Refine. If you click here on Refine, you're gonna have this result. I'm going to use White Mate because you can see even better uh, how the areas is working on. Black and white is also perfect to see if it's good. Oh look, I will do this again. Refine, black and white, and then you can reduce the ramp. You can you see the ramp here? Basically by doing that, you can refine even more your selection. I will hit onto here, apply. Now we're gonna have this. I will press right now Ctrl and X because I'm removing these, let's say, not very well areas. I'm gonna now hide this layer, I'm gonna paste. And now we got a very awesome result using a designer in PNG background. Now you have a very perfect result by using Affinity Designer. And Right now you can export this image separately to use in whatever you want. 
But of course you can export this canvas as one single image, but be careful, I usually don't do that. I like usually to export images separately, like only this layer. To do that you go to export persona, now you just need to create uh, the slice of this dog, I will give here a click on this dog, click here below, create slice, then you're gonna get this slice here. I usually like to hit, of course, the PNG because you're gonna be able to export with the transport background. So you need to go here. PNG, you can leave as 2x. I like to use 2x because I'm gonna have a bigger resolution, a better quality. And then you can give a name here as dog. I'll just type here dog. And then you can hit in this button to export this image separately from the all canvas. And now after export, you can check the results. Look, the image here has an incredible quality, incredible resolution as well. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure to join the Vectorize Club if you want to learn much more about my lessons using Affin Designer. Okay, thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Take care.